Pharaoh was saying, compromise in your worship. It's okay to worship, but compromise. Don't go all the way. Same thing he does to you today. Hey, listen, you want to be a Christian? Great. You want to go to church every now and then on Sunday? Great. But make it just about Sunday when it's convenient. Make it just about Sunday. That's not what biblical Christianity is all about. Let me tell you something. The gathering is vital, but we gather to scatter. Worshiping God is about us coming together corporately to magnify his name together through song and the reading of his scripture, the, the, the preaching of his word, uh, to, to, to sing to God, to sing about God. That's vital to scripture. But living sent, you got to live sent, living a life of worship when you depart these doors until you re-enter these doors is vital to biblical Christianity. If you gather and don't scatter, or if you live scattered in your mind, but don't gather, you're not living as a biblical Christian. See, the enemy says, oh, if you want to claim to be a Christian, that's great. Just go, just make it about church on Sunday when it's convenient, right? Don't, don't really uh, make it, I mean, that important to you just when it's convenient. That's not biblical Christianity. Biblical Christianity says that's what your life is about. Your life is now about worship. It is about magnification. He redeemed the Israelites so that they could worship him, not so that they could kick back. He redeemed you so that you could live a life of worship and magnification in the gathering and magnification in the scattering. So we gather and we scatter. And if you miss one, all kind of people today say, oh, I love church. I love Jesus. That's not organized religion and church. They don't know anything about the Bible. They don't love Jesus because Jesus died for the church. And you talk about his bride, that, that's not very uh, uh, magnifying to Jesus. You don't like his bride, you don't like my bride, then you, you're not going to like me for long because I'm going to deal with you if you don't like my bride, Right? So, so listen, uh, uh, if we don't like, so, so, we, so we can't just, oh, we, we got to live. We're going to be, we love Jesus, but not the church. That's shallow non-Christianity is what that is. If you love Jesus, but not the church, you probably don't know Jesus or you're way shallow. Okay. You need to, you need to put your pa big boy pants on, get out of the kiddie pool and start reading the Bible. Okay. If you don't love the church. Now listen, the church is messed up in so many ways, right? I mean, cause we're full of people. I mean, there's only one perfect person here, and it's Jesus. I'm close, but I'm not perfect, okay? Amy tells me all the time I'm perfect, and I say, no, baby, I'm not, really. <laughs> so, listen, I'm the, I'm, I'm the farthest from perfect of anybody here, right? So, the church is messed up, but it's Jesus' bride. And so, we gather, we scatter. Pharaoh's trying to get them to compromise. That's what the enemy does to you. 